In this part, we will discuss the flight director controls and indicators, takeoff, and non-normal operation. These controls and indicators are associated with the flight director. Now, let's discuss them in detail. There is an on-off switch for each pilot's flight director display. When either switch is selected on, the command bars and FD are displayed on the respective PFD. The flight director's source selectors are located on the pilot's panel for each pilot's flight director. The source selectors determine which flight control computer operates each pilot's flight director. These flight control computers are the same three that provide inputs to the autopilots. With the respective flight director switch on, the selected flight control computer positions the command bars. In wings level flight with no autopilots in command, turning the first flight director on automatically selects the heading hold and vertical speed modes. If bank angle is more than five degrees with no autopilots in command, Turning the first flight director on automatically selects the attitude and vertical speed modes. The command bars display a turn to maintain the current bank. When a flight director is turned on and an autopilot is in command, the flight director operates in the same mode as the autopilot. When an autopilot is in command, command is displayed on the PFD. These mode select switches control the autopilot and flight director operations. Question. Answer C is correct. The source selector determines which flight control computer operates the flight director. Since the first officer's selector is positioned right, the right flight control computer is driving the first officer's flight director. Now let's look at the flight director during takeoff. The TOGA takeoff function is a combined pitch and roll mode and is a flight director only mode. In this mode, the flight director provides pitch and roll commands during takeoff and climb out. The TOGA takeoff function can only be selected while on the ground. It is selected by turning the first flight director switch on with all autopilots disengaged. The PFD displays TOGA for both pitch and roll, and flight director for autopilot flight director system status. The command bars are displayed in a wings level 8 degrees nose up position. LNAV and VNAV are normally selected during pre-flight, allowing automatic engagement after takeoff. LNAV and VNAV relate to the flight management system and will be discussed in the Autoflight LNAV and VNAV module. When ready for takeoff, pushing a TOGA switch enunciates thrust reference on the PFD and the thrust levers advance to the pre-selected thrust. Thrust functions will be discussed in the Autothrottle module. During takeoff, the TOGA pitch mode commands 8 degrees nose up until airborne. When airborne, pitch commands change to the lesser of 15 degrees nose up or slightly below PLI. As climb rate increases, pitch commands change to maintain the MCP IAS Mach window speed plus 10 knots. This speed is V2 for takeoff. 
After takeoff, the toga roll mode commands a heading to maintain the ground track which existed during the takeoff. Should an engine failure occur during takeoff below V2, the flight director commands V2. If the failure should occur between V2 and V2 plus 10, the flight director maintains existing airspeed. If airspeed is above V2 plus 10 at the time of failure, the flight director will maintain V2 plus 10. At 50 feet of radio altitude, the toga roll mode changes to LNAV, and the flight director follows the pre-programmed FMC, Flight Management Computer, profile, if armed. At 400 feet radio altitude, the toga pitch mode automatically changes to VNAV speed, and the flight director follows the pre-programmed FMC vertical profile, if armed. The toga mode is now terminated. The flight director will now follow the selected mode, in this case LNAV and VNAV. All other modes of the flight director are the same as the autopilot modes and are discussed in the autopilot modules. Question. Answer B is correct. The flight director commands a heading to maintain the ground track which existed during the takeoff. Now we will discuss non-normal flight director operation. The command bars are no longer displayed when no flight director information is being received. The flight director flag is displayed when the flight director information is invalid. In addition, the command bars are no longer displayed. Selecting a different flight control computer restores flight director information.